Okay, moving on. I think we beat that one to death. Uh, Jolly, uh, talk to us about refining, which is new in 3.12. Yeah, that was a big uh, jump in terms of uh, features in Star Citizen was 3.12 was refining itself. It was obvious to me that CI uh, adjusted the game, the payouts, to force us to do more refining, which is fine. We're here as primary testers anyways in this alpha game, so I had no problems with that. So I spent a lot, lot of time uh, refining. That's what I was looking for. Um, I will point out that there are limited, there are limited locations you go to, all the L1s and plus her L2, or we get refining done. Hopefully the game that will uh, change in the future. It's important to know that uh, each one has a little bit different uh, payoff on it. And to be honest, <clears throat> one of the things I used to look at is <clears throat> I'd find a load of gold on a rock and I'd ignore it because it's too low to pay off. However, if I pick up gold and I go to her L1, that pretty limited payoff could really blossom to one heck of a payoff if I make sure I refine at the right location. So you need to know not just where these uh, refining, refineries are at, but what they specialize in. And so I do, take, take it, do recommend you take a look at that closely. Uh, it does mean sometimes if you have a mixed load, you may have to bounce around a different refineries to offload them and have, the, uh, 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 have it run to make sure it gets refined. You have to then run around later on and pick up, which you know, we'll talk about a little bit for the next segment. But uh, overall, that, that's one thing to consider. Also, I looked at the uh, refinery's uh, workload is going to affect your, your fee you're going to be paying itself. Um, I, some of these numbers are kind of ridiculous, 8,600% over. Uh, it sounds a little bit much for me. Maybe everybody's doing the refining at the same time, same location I am, but I would think that number may go down a little bit more in the future. I also hope the, hope the number of uh, refining locations will also increase. They're not limited to just these uh, her stations or uh, L1 stations that are around the uh, current solar system. Uh, different, we talked about the stations already. There's refining methods. Can you bring that uh, slide up for me, please, uh, Joni? Uh, good, fast, good, good, you know, is it cheap, good, fast. Pick two. It kind of holds true with this also. You got to figure out what do you want to have done. To be honest, a lot of people are taking the uh, bottom one, the solventation, because uh, it pays off well. Uh, it's very slow, though, but the cost is also low. And I don't mind dropping off four loads or four different uh, um, orders to have a process and coming back in 24 hours, pick them up, and then trade them from there. So it's worked out pretty well so far. If you're in a rush for money, okay, it's going to be a different thing there. You want to have a fast job done on it, uh, realize you're not going to get the most payoff on it, but if you're really uh, in need of funds, you may want to adjust that yourself. But so far, I'm favoring the last one, uh, Denix Sulfitation, uh, more than anything else that's out there. And uh, I, when I talk to other players, they're pretty much doing the same thing. They don't mind waiting the 22 to 24 hours to get a, uh, a process done on the whole thing. So that's something to keep in mind when it goes to refining. Make sure you select what you want. You may have to shop around, get the best deals. You want to take advantage of really the, uh, we look at the specialties that you get the full advantage of what that refinery can pay you back. And you load up your cargo and then take it from there. Charlie, I got a question for you. Shoot. So I haven't done any mining or refining. I did go see the refineries and I thought it was beautiful with the big yeah. cauldrons of fire and they got the decks up above so you can look down. If you haven't seen that, I'd recommend going in and checking it out. But again, I don't mind waiting if unless I'm hurting for cash. So the real question is, versus just going into a trade terminal and selling it off my ship, how much extra time does it actually take just going into the refining section, setting up to refine, and then just letting the clock run out? Like how much time are, is invested for you? Not the wait time, but the action time. More the than action maybe a time is actually minor. Uh, it's not a big deal. Let's let's take a go to Daymar. I, you do some uh, mining over there. You can't anymore, but you used to be able to run to PO. Sell your ore there. Uh, that's fairly fast. Well, getting out to uh, 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 crew L1 isn't that much longer to get over there either. So it wasn't a big deal. And Noah will point out that the payoff for refined materials versus raw materials is considerable. But you still have the option to sell the raw. There's no problems. You can do that. The game still allows you to do that. You can't do it at PO anymore, but you can do it at other locations just fine. I think that's an interesting concept. You spend a little bit extra time then you let some clock time run that doesn't really affect you because you can go start mining again and you make some more money. It, to me, it sounds like that's a no-brainer. What I found most people will do is if prospect or mold doesn't matter, make a load, go up, uh, gather up, drop off, get a uh, work order going, do it again, do it again, get four or five, four work orders in there, uh, and then come back 24 hours later, pick them all up. It's, they'll all fit into a max 
sometimes if you're just a basic freelancer, take them off and sell them. And I'm assuming a, a 30K crash while this is happening doesn't matter because just like your ship on a recovery time, it's a process that's internal. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, once you drop off, 30Ks are still a problem no matter what. You get a <laughs> minor filled with junk. You're, you're, you're 30K out without resetting your, your points. You lo lose it all. But once you drop it off for the refinery, start working on it, 30K doesn't matter at all. Once, once the process is started... Then 30k, it's it's you're safe, yeah. So there's now, no there is a L LTP resets when they do a when they do a persistence reset. You, I have seen people they the, all the processes go away, just yeah. like just that's like true. stored cargo goes away. Yeah, the yeah, last that, patch that that's what happened. happened. Last patch that did. I had a couple now more for stories going. Now for refinery jolly, if you're refining, you have to have a cargo ship in order to yes, realize your benefits. Done. You've got your right now when the game the status the state is it's in, I've got this refined cargo over here. I've got to have a ship capable of carrying cargo to bring it to a trading point so I can then sell it. Hopefully in the future I can have my, my materials over there that are refined. I could then somehow pass them over to a third party to have them make the transport. But right now the game can't do that. Do you do you have to have the cargo ship at the refinery facility yes. when you set the gate when you set the process up to start or only when it's done it has to be spawnable there when you're ready to after right. the job is done you have to pick a before you leave with it you have to pick a ship to put it on so the okay, ship has so to be pick, spawnable there you don't pick the ship when you set the refinery job up only after only when you get ready to to yeah. collect the refined materials <laughs> then you have to tell it what ship to put on and that ship and must be spawnable ship at that location either there or stored, which means it can be brought up. And we have found, for example, if you bring in a, uh, um, a ship, a, let's say bring a Max in, you land it, it's not stored, you try to put materials on that, I think it's a bug, but a lot of times you can't put the materials on there. You store that ship, you can then put them on. Yeah, well, that would right. just be you, you land and you're coming into the, into the station anyway to go to the refinery, just stop off at the ASOP terminal, hit the store button, and it should yeah, yeah. store I, your ship and then yeah, head on down to the refinery. I had a bunch of uh, orders going. They're all done. I brought a Max in. I, I landed it at um, uh, Crew L1, I think it was. I go inside. I try to load it onto the ship. I couldn't do it. Went back out to the kiosk, stored the ship, went back in. Then I could go ahead and load it onto okay. that Max and all take right. it up where I want to go. Like I said, I think it's a bug. I think that'll be worked out. But since you can uh, now, now, do you do you also have uh, the ability to rent ships at the refinery stations, or you have to go to the cargo decks, which aren't at the refinery stations? There's a rental terminal, isn't there? Yeah, is there, I don't know is there a rental terminal at the don't refinery? Know rental, I don't know if anyone there, if somebody else does speak up. But I think they're only at cargo decks on oh, that's right. stations. They, so they changed what was available at the cargo decks. I think that's what that was the deal. Yeah. Well, not every refinery station has a cargo deck. I don't think they're. I think they're. I don't. I don't think the cargo decks are located. I think they're only. They're only at the orbitals. On the orbitals around the planet, it's only at only at Microtech, Hurston, and Art and um, Arcorp. Mm -hmm. So, if you're looking to rent a ship, and the, I guess the, also the ship rentals down at the at the actual. Um, Spaceports side, side, yeah. on, you know, spaceports planet side. So you'd have to rent the ship first, fly it out, just like you would a regular ship, you know, unless you can spawn it. Store it, right then load it, and store fly it. Away. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's almost a two to one, two to almost a, was it a hundred percent increase exactly for refinery one. versus non-refinery? Yep. Doubled. Refinery. Doubled, yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, there's a lot of advantages to being able to set your refinery job and log off for the night and <laughs> come back yeah, tomorrow and pick is. it up you know i mean it's last thing to do of the, of the your gaming day is get those orders going and uh um, like i said i don't mind waiting the, the 24 hours but if you're in a rush by all means try something different see if that's what you like better do be selective where you want to go to have the stuff refined i said gold actually can pay off if you go to it was her l1 uh station was one of them it's a 10 10 times a plus ten uh, ratio on it, so it's a, it's a big plus yeah. on that one. A ten percent, ten percent, yeah, as opposed to minus four percent or minus six percent. Yeah, do you think, Jolly, that once you know this expands out and they they have more than one, you know, system that they're in right now, 
it'll begin to settle down as far as the disparity amongst you know because right now you you may have a load that you're mining from say Damar, you may have to go to three different refineries in order to get the maximum you know ability that, out of all that and that seems like a lot of work and now, that's a now true you statement. start talking about what josh is talking about how much time does it take for me to go around and drop off all my stuff at all these different refineries it, it's not there anymore but it was for a while when the patch first came out at crew l1 you go to the uh asteroid field right outside of it it was filled with borates and so i would specifically just look for rocks with borates so i'm favoring one type of ore on my ship on my my prospector i br bring back and I'd work on that one being refined. If I had junk on board, I'd go to the regular ore cell, get my pennies. I don't really care. I just want to get off my ship and get the support stuff there going on a, on a, on a refining uh, uh, yeah. order. They go back out and repeat the process. Yeah, oh, if you were looking at other... it from a... Oh, go ahead, Nam. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Just uh, one other thing to add there, though. It's an all or nothing thing there. So if you got a mix of materials, you can't just <clears throat> refine something, sell off the rest of it. You, Whatever oh. you don't choose for the refining job is dumped as if it was inert material. Oh, Are seriously? you sure about that? Yes. Well, I've sold, I sold stuff at the, the lefty little raw ore, and then I walk over and I do my, my order. Uh, you aren't able to, at the raw ore, you're not able to select just one or the other. You have to sell the whole load or not none of it. No, That's I've been able to select Not for the individual. raw ore. You used to be able to sell individual no, raw ore. I didn't see an option for time. selecting them. Yeah, the left-hand yeah, side, you got to select that specific metal yep. or whatever. Well, actually, no, you're, you're yeah. thinking about selling uh, – no, it's – Commodities. Uh, you're thinking about selling commodities. Yeah, when you used to went to the – like when you're going to PO and turning in your prospector, it was an all or nothing. When you push the button, yeah. it, tally, it tallied everything about. that was on board. The, the yeah. terminals at the left are all or nothing. You, you, sell, you sell it all raw or you go to the refining terminal. You might have six different ma ma materials in there. And if you choose one, you know, check you know, if you toggle the one right and you commit to that process, the rest of it's lost as if it was inert material. It dumps it? Oh, they, yes. they, they, oh wow. Mm -hmm. That's that's not cool. I'll check but, that again. I'm not sure yeah, about it's, that. It's a mix. Uh so so if I let's say for example, if I had if I had gold and I had aluminum, let's just pick you know things because you know the other ones I don't I don't remember off the top of my head. And I decide to go to the station that has gold as the better process. If I just choose gold, then and I and I and I close, I start the job, I get back, I respawn my my prospector back or you know back out. I'm not it's yeah, empty. It's empty. Wow. It'll be empty. Yes. Wow. Okay. Because it's it's not been it's not been. Uh, refined sorted it's just a mix so there i guess that's uh that's a game i think that's a i don't think it's a bug i think it's intentional well that it's, makes it really really difficult because each station then i would think i think yeah. from a business standpoint if we were going for you know what was happening in the real world you would locate refineries next to systems that that are then they would focus on materials that would be able to be refined from that system because we all know that the things you can get at Damar are not necessarily the things you can get at well at um, Lyria, and not the same things you can get over at Microtech's moons. You know, there's a mix. That's so, a possibility because um, uh, Walla, the moon, uh, the moon around Art Corp, actually has a fairly high incidence of Terranite, and um, Arc L1 does have a bonus for Terranite. Yeah, so I would think if, if you were looking at it from that standpoint, what they're saying is that is that they're they're focusing on, from a business standpoint, the stuff that is inherently in that in that local system, in that in that planetary system, and that's what their refinery is going to focus on. That would that would be the hope. That's the look of it. But I, I can. Well, right I now, can I know they're testing practice. I can tell you from practice, I've done that where I've selected just one or two that I consider worth the time and trouble, and left like aluminum and some other things that don't have much value. And they disappear if you don't refine them along with the rest of it. So you're better off picking this, the refinery that gives you the bonus for the best payout and then, and then just pushing refine for all the stuff in your, in your, in your load. Because you're going to make some bucks anyway. Because if, yeah. if, if you dump it to garbage, you're not getting anything. Well, actually, I, I, I'll go into that just a little bit. Um, I got, do we want to play that video now? Unrefined versus refined prices? Exactly. Oh, we know we're not there yet. 
Okay. Well, yeah, no, we we're, we're about there. Too bad. It's a good, okay. it's a good segue. Yeah, I mean, we're just kind of, yeah, unrefined selling versus refining. Here we go. Yeah. Get that full screen. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like Josh is talking about the refinery is awesome. Okay. The refinery is awesome. And you definitely need to it. check this place out. But uh, <laughs> I wish the up? elevators was over by the stores. Yeah. Or the stores Shoot. were over by the elevator. You bring the yeah. video up, Joni? It's up. It is. Yeah. It's That's running right now. I can see it. It's running. Okay. So you up, upstairs in here, and then you got here, you got the choice. On the left, there's the old terminals we're familiar with where you sell unrefined. Well, before we got it at full value. And here, so this, this is what you got. And you have to choose. You basically, it's, it's, it's good to ch I always check this anyway, even when I know I'm going to be refining just to see what it's unrefined value. That lets me know what the 50% value of the overall load is once it's refined. And you're never going to get 100% of it because there's always going to be some loss on a refining job. So, let's see. Okay. So a top left there is where you see the uh, mining specialty, the, um, the specializations, plus and minus percent values. And here you, got, you have to select your uh, different, different processes. And I did a lot of math here <laughs> as far as uh, flipping through the different options, figuring out what was, what was the drop off. The one inter interesting thing to know is that there's a flat percentage for each process that where the yield loss is. And then that percentage is taken off what you've gotten out of that. So something might get dropped down to 66%. A minus 4% would come off the 66%, not the 100%. Okay, if, Joni, if you could just pa pause it there. Okay. Now, this is pretty much what I found. The you have the different yield yield bonuses and nor negatives at different stations, but these seems to be pretty consistent. Um, on the left there, I'll list the unrefined. That's basically, I'm saying 50% because, and there's zero time and zero cost involved in doing that. Um, Cormac, which a lot of people say they're in a hurry, they say they choose Cormac, and the thing is you lose a third of it right off the top by choosing that due to the yield loss. And if that mineral has a negative uh, penalty mm -hmm. at that station, it's going to take even more off of that. Then you got to go to the trouble of loading it on a ship, uh, taking it, taking it to a planet side, and then there may be market fluctuations where, if especially if it's like something like laronite that gets traded a lot, the market could be really down on that, and you've lost more. For the uh, time and trouble, generally, my opinion is you either sell unrefined if you're in a real hurry and you need the cash or you just set the one at the far right there now i did a, did a lot of comparisons between different minerals at uh, on different jobs and these these multipliers are pretty consistent if a um if a cormac takes an hour a cormac job takes an hour it's going to take um, a half hour i mean, I mean sorry, sorry it takes an hour at that it's going to take 48 what is it? Um, no, a Cormac job, I never seen it hit an hour. I apologize. Uh, but say Pretty it's a nice. half hour, it's going to take like a day on the uh, Denix solventation. And, but I've never seen a prospector job uh, take over an hour and hour, uh, 20 hours and a day. Um, you have any questions on this one, Jolly? No, I've had 22 hour, uh, 23 hour uh, work orders, but. Like yeah. so it's all borates and stuff like that, but no, th right. that actually explains it pretty well right there. Yeah, and um, thing is, you know, if you're a little bit, you just gotta, you just gotta uh, check the check, go through the different choices as far as um, and seeing what time it's giving you, and just make a judgment call on it. There's not never a hundred percent saying that you should always do this or you should always do that one. It's a trade off in time and um, risk. Um, but like I said, I almost always go, I either sell unrefined or I do Denix. That's pretty much where I am. Thanks. Just, but it, but it, the, the risk is, you know, you could be waiting a day and a half before you can load your ship up and a server 
uh, there could be a reset. We were looking at the PTU maybe dropping to live not too long in the near future here, uh, just depending on what happens. So and I would that's think, the risk you take. And I would think now, how many how many unrefined runs could you go could you go and sell in that time period while you're waiting for the other job to do? Now that's, that's I mean the that's the that's the trade off. I mean you could you could drop one load on that, so you're guaranteed a double payout sometime in the future. But it, in the meantime. If I'm looking, if I'm looking to run, I'm. You can run a lot of prospector loads in in four or five hours if that's what that's you've got the to run. If, if you're if you're only if you have a time, you don't really have a, a cargo ship worth speaking of. That's a big trade off. You got to have a, in my opinion, you really got to have a ship that, like he's talking about the Max, or something like that, that makes it worth making that run. If you're having to do every couple, if your cargo ship is like a, I don't know if I would do this if I only had a pro, if I only had a cutlass to run the cargo, because that's only 46 SU to begin with. Um, I've been doing it with a uh, MSR, and that holds 114. And I might get, depending on how full my prospector is, there might be four to, there might be four to six prospector loads worth of refining in that MSR. So, it's a matter of max, you know economizing your time but like i said if i had to if i had to make a cargo run every couple of prospector runs i'd probably be doing what you're talking about which is just doing back and forth back and forth selling raw ore i wouldn't bother with the refining process you got to have a, a cargo sh a ship that can hold a decent amount to make this worthwhile i agree with that but you don't have to have it i mean i had a uh 29 skew of greasy m which we know is a high value uh, item and so at 29, I could easily fit that in a black. So you, it paid off was 53,000, which is mm -hmm. minuscule compared to the 100,000 you can make of other things. But don't be discouraged if you only have a cutlass or, or a smaller ship. Uh, you may still be able to get away with some of it. Don't it, try to overload it, though. Right. And, yeah. it, and it also, it's a matter of, like you said, you're dealing with stuff at the higher end there. Uh, yeah. We also have the, you have the chart. Uh, there was also another one in this, ca in this uh, section had to do with... Uh, the uh, the different values, unrefined refined. versus refined prices. Yes, yeah, it's uh, just segment four unrefined versus refined. Yeah, yep. yes, and it's a matter of making the most of your time. I mean, if you're dealing with stuff in that green zone at the top, yes, it's it's worth making those trips. But if you're you're really arguing over pennies, if you're dealing with stuff down in the bottom there, if you've already had a fair amount of loss due to yields. Due to refining it, and then you're having to take it to market. You're not make the for your time spent. You might even make better money doing a couple of bounty runs. Um, yeah, it kind of looks. No, it kind of looks like something that you would want to set out to do at the beginning. Set your, pro, you know, do your prospector, get you know three to four loads that you're going to you know, put in the refinery. Set your refining runs, and then go use to then go use your prospector to do some unrefined you know, runs as well. Try to try to bounce back and forth because then the next day I'm going to come back. I'm going to grab my refined loads, put them in my cargo ship, go and sell that, you know, and then, you know, wash, rinse, repeat again. It's almost like something you try to set up as the last thing you do for the, for your day, set it to run overnight, so to speak. That's, that's what, what I usually do. I, Jolly. What I'd keep in mind is remember this is testing still. We don't know if that ratio, that two to one ratio is going to hold true when we hit live. I would say it's to probably going to be better. I would hope that it would be better. If you're going through for a refining process <laughs> for the amount of time that it's cost, yeah. But if we have the yeah. ability to sell that refined material to a third party, you maybe know, it won't be. And Jolly, well. either that or the refining time is going to come down because can you imagine being on an Orion and you've got a refinery Ooh, <laughs> built yeah. on board and you're starting to mine? But what you've got, it's going to take another day or so before the dudes in the back get it all refined for you, so you can take it in. And I don't know if that's going to work too well. So we'll see. Yeah. I think the argument's going to be there that since it's your refinery in the back, that it goes instantaneously or near instantaneously. Yeah, you own you own the entire refinery. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> own it, but the the refining time is tied to the process. Uh, so unless they come out with you know. A, the Orion my refining process, you know, or something like that, then, yeah, you know, will. that's the time. Yeah. You're, you're right, but I would also say, you know, how you show up at a refinery, and I'm at 8,600% load right now, and your I mean, your work order is way back here, you know, off to the off to the right before we get to it. 
when it's your own ship, hey, it's front of the line. Who knows? Okay, so so the amount of time is is based in part on the refining process, but also on the load at the refinery for yes. the amount of yes. what we're, yes. I got you. There's okay. a, I can it's tell you how this goes. The fee, the fee yeah, is the there's, road. There's a flat fee that is applied. Now, uh, once again, I'm comparing the math on this. It doesn't matter whether you're doing one SCU or 32 SCU worth, or if, if it's just, if it's one unit, there's a flat fee that is applied to the total job. And it doesn't matter whether you choose two, three, all of the minerals. Um, and then on top of that, they take a percentage of the value of what you gained from the process. Yeah, but I'm not talking about what it costs you to do it. I'm, to I'm talking about the time it takes for you to run your job. What is that an equation of? The, I, I, the, I, I, the refining method to... the refining method, and the amount of work orders ahead of you? Is that what it is? That what, it is? What, what they've stated is the, uh, the load on the refinery affects the fee. Yeah. Okay, that, so they it have doesn't said affect that. the time. Well, okay. we don't know. They okay. haven't stated that. I, I and I and I tried to I tried to crunch the numbers to make some sense out of it. I would have two loads that were virtually identical at a station on different days, and the time would the time at the Cormac would range from thirteen minutes to twenty minutes. Same now the multipliers same amount. Yes, and I that chart those multipliers still hold, but the number that's being multiplied it seems to be highly variable. But at the same time, I've never seen a full prospector load uh, take more than a day and day and twenty hours, no matter what. Well, somebody uh, said that they had a, a full prospector thirty-two SKU of usable material, and it took us forty-two hours on the Dynex method. I would think that the equation would be no. a combination of the refining process. The amount of material you're going to refine and how many refining jobs are ahead of you to determine how long it's going to take for your yeah. material to go from beginning to end and put it in the cargo ship. Whatever I formula they're using, I'm not entirely sure what it is. But yeah, the best thing you can do is just see what it is at that particular time. But I've seen it to be highly variable. But it will give you a time. That... It will give you a time when you go in to try to do your job. It will tell you when it's done. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah, it, 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 it will tell it will tell you when you go to you know you say you uh, what is it uh, quote you hit the quote button it'll tell you how much it will cost and what's the expected time to complete and yeah. anytime you go back to the terminal it'll tell you how long a job job has left yeah. and when you when the job finishes or when you've logged in and it's already done you'll get a little notice top center of the screen telling you a job is ready okay and Cobra. Uh, Cobra had a question. Uh, no, is it the uh, based on the, the time refining time is based on skew or material mind? Does the material mind matter? I don't know. I don't think the material mind matters, but have you found I don't it think it does. I've had a full load of laranite and a full load of, of quantanium take the same amount of time. Okay. Um, yeah, not entirely sure on that one. Wow. Wow. Ma Master Chief Mike says it. Three days for 96 mm -hmm. SCU. It is the proportional. Full, to, it, mackerel. it is somewhat proportional to the uh, the amount you're doing. You yes. better not be living hand to mouth. Wow. Yeah. Imagine I mean, how long that. Imagine how long that Orion will take. <laughs> well, that's why the refinery's on board. <laughs> yeah. I think. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, the, okay. the work orders, number of work orders. Has anybody ever heard of an actual limit? Because I've had I've had I've had 11 going. I've I heard no four. How, huh? I, I was told four initially. This is way back when it first started. They may maybe initially, but last time I did it, it was like eleven I had in one in one refinery. Wow. Yep. Rack says twelve is his max. Kerber, did that answer your question? Hopefully. Um. So. Okay. <laughs> so I think that covers mining and refining uh, pretty good. Um. So. 